What's up everyone, it's your man Rack here, and welcome back to a brand new video. So this video is going to be a bit different than usual because I'm going to be showing you how to download and use a mod for Minecraft. So um, for, this, for the purpose of this mod, I'm going to be using the Chisels and Bits mod. Now this mod is absolutely amazing, I might do a mod review on it later on, but yeah whatever. So anyway, um, this is going to be the first type of, of tutorial video I'm going to be doing. So if you guys enjoyed the video, um, I will might, I'll, might make some more of these videos. So let's get into it. So first, you're going to want to download Minecraft Forge. Well, um, that is if you, uh, there's this thing called the Java Development Kit. If you haven't downloaded that, then you should. So this allows you to download mods in Minecraft, which is quite cool. So, um, we're going to be downloading this mod on 1.11. So we're going to be downloading it, downloading it on this version here. So that means for Forge, we're already on 1.11. So we're going to download it now. Here it will say download recommended. And that's the one I recommend you download because, well, it says recommended. So yeah, let's just download this thing, eh? So let's go to installer. Ad Focus is a revolutionary ad. new way of making money on the internet from sharing links on Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube. Simply sign up below, share links, and s All right, so forget that or forget that automatic voice. That didn't really mean anything. That's just some stupid ad. Because, well, ad focus. So yeah, as you just saw there, um, you're going to wait for a few seconds and then press skip. Sorry about that loud voice, that was quite loud, obviously. So down here it's going to finish downloading. Now we'll say this type of file can harm your computer if you're using Google Chrome. It's just that Google Chrome is a bit sensitive towards Java files. Um, so, um, and it so don't worry, this won't download, this won't put any viruses on your computer. You'll be safe. Alright, so we're going to get out of this, and now we are in all my files, and some pink sheet fan art here. It's so going to click on this, open, right click and open, and it'll say Forge 1.11 is from an unidentified developer. Are you sure you want to open it? And you're going to click open, and it's going to open right here, all there. Welcome to the Simple Forge installer, and you just want, and you're just going to keep it on install client because that's what's best, I guess. Now you're going to go to OK. You'll start downloading. It'll say successfully install client profile Forge for version Forge 1.11 to launcher. Oh, oops. So remember, you don't have to download Forge 1.11. And chisels and bits mod. This is just an example video. You can do any mod you want in any version. If some mod happens to go wrong, I'll be happy to help you. So now it's time to download the actual mod. So um, I guess we're just going to go with this version because, well, it's for 1.11, so what the heck. So we're going to click on here. And now uh, it'll appear. So now this is if you're using Curse and Forge. You can find the download button on other websites if you want. So I'm gonna click download. And it's gonna download. And it's gonna start downloading here. But once again, this is a Java file, so it'll say that. Remember, um, it won't download, it won't put any viruses onto your computer. So now that this is here, now we can put this in the mod folder. So we're going to go to go to folder, um, finder, go, go to folder. Now for Windows, I'm not too sure what it is. I think it's run or something. And so you're going to want to type this right here. I'm going to put it down in the description below. Or I might put it up on the screen if you just want to type it yourself. 
I'll also put the Windows one down at the bottom of the screen. So yeah, mm. so let's click go now. And if you haven't made this folder already, it will say mods. So like usual, you just make a folder, make, say, make it say mods, and then you're done. So yeah, if you haven't made a folder like this already, I'd suggest you do. So you have your empty mod folder. We're gonna open a new window. And we're going to go here. Now I'm just gonna move it here, and there you are. Now it's time to play the mod. Let's go to Minecraft, and let's do this, boy. So now we're on the Minecraft launcher. I'm gonna go to edit profile. And here we have Forge. Woohoo! So yeah, um, so if you're up here, you just scroll down all the way to the bottom and you'll have your forge link here. I just have a whole bunch of forge links. You won't have all of these. Um, that is if you have mo multiple forge things. So you're going to get your forge link and it'll appear down here. Or your forge version. And it will come with the mod. So let's press play and do it. Everybody, we are on Forge. Now to prove that this mod works, I'm gonna be going to single player and some random world like this world. It is a stupid name, I know, but some but I'm a bit OCD when breaking blocks so useless mod creations. Mm. Alright, now let's test out the mod. Let's go over here, and sure enough, we have the mod. Dun 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 dun! And now that you have your mod, you can fiddle around with it as long as you like. You can make anything, or do anything, or eat anything. And yeah, we're done! So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial video, and then please make sure to leave a big fat like. Let's see if we can reach 10 or 15 likes. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm going to go now, everybody. So, um, if you're new to the channel, then please sub and become a racketeer. Anyway, that's me. I'm out. Peace out, racketeers. Woohoo! Alright, now to build at my house. 2,000 years later. I finally completed my village.